Oh yeah. What is up guys? And welcome to another bright and beautiful morning here in Whistler. Alex Stevens has joined us in this fine trip. We're about to go to the gym, except Alex, Derek, and Sean are not coming with me, so. I'm already too shredded for the gym. Yeah, of course. Anyways, right now we're about to uh, take our daily dose of creatine. We're gonna walk to Creekside Gym. I have no idea where it is, and I'm gonna rely on my crappy Wi-Fi. He's snorting meth. This is. Dude, that's fucking. I'm on Google that's Map. Dude, that's. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <sighs> I will see you guys on my way to getting lost in the middle of Whistler. Bye, Sean. Have a good workout, baby. I have no idea how to get there. Nope! I will trust the power of my knowledge. Alright, what is up guys? So another bright, beautiful morning out here in Wissy. Everything is super overexposed and my lack of ND filters only perpetuates this problem. Anyways, right now we are walking to the gym in Creekside in Whistler. I have absolutely zero idea how to get there. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a solid time. I'm hoping to get a nice chest day going. I'm not sure what the age restrictions of gyms are around here because over the past couple of months I've been stopped way too many times at way too many gyms for being a little too young. But you know, you can always sneak in there. I do look like I'm 12, so that doesn't really help that situation. But chest day today, I'm hoping to hit 245 pounds on the bench press for a couple sets. And yeah, we're gonna try and record at least one of these sets. I'm not so sure what their policy out here is on filming, but as you guys know, I'm already a professional on sneaking my camera into the gym. I have no idea where we're going, but we will get to the gym and we will record at least one set. All right, well, what is up guys? So right now we are here in the Whistler gym. And this is honestly one of the better gyms I've ever been to. So usually on vacation, I won't like take training as seriously as I do at home, but when you have resources and facilities like as nice as this, you gotta take advantage of it. So I'm probably gonna be coming here every single day for the next week. It is insane, this is only one of the floors, but a ton of free weight stuff. Looks pretty powerlifting friendly, and downstairs there's just a plethora of like uh, hypertrophy machines and just like all kinds of like stationary exercises. It's just, it's a dope place. With that said, I'm gonna get warmed up and try and kill this bench workout. Also, the, my favorite thing so far right now is that this is like an upstairs, like a private section, and there's most likely gonna be nobody coming in the next couple hours. The person at the front desk said, this is like the best hour to come to the gym, so I'm hyped, I'm super pumped, and I cannot wait to get this workout on. Okay, what is up guys, and welcome back to another special commentary. So, as usual, I am lying here on the couch, should be doing homework. It is actually after the time I've had in Whistler. I am back home right now, and as usual, I am watching these clips in real time. Just going to give some of my thoughts on the workout, take you guys through what I've been doing in terms of this here training session. So, let's kick it off. This is the first workout I've had up in Whistler. We actually found this gym. It was very, very lucky that we found it. It's called Whistler Creek Athletic Club, and huge shout-out to this gym. It was actually incredible. It's really, really hard for me to usually find good gyms when I go traveling or on vacation, especially because, you know, usually you're in a hotel or you're staying with friends' house, and it's just not really the most optimal time to train but this vacation was just incredible in terms of training i really spent a lot of time on hypertrophy and we started our new block of training so what i've been doing personally in terms of 
powerlifting is. For my first movement, which is always a compound movement, either the bench, squat, deadlift, or overhead press, I'd be doing five sets of three for the entire week of some super heavy weights. Originally, I planned to come into the gym and hit 245 pounds for this 5x3, but for some reason, the weights were feeling a little bit heavier than usual. I don't know if it's the atmosphere or the gym or the bar or whatever or just all these made-up excuses that I'm going with, but we had to back down to 235 pounds, which is not too bad considering these were basically have pause reps which means I didn't really pause for a full competition time, but we did bring the bar down, have a dead stop before pushing it back up. So I am still very proud of the progress that we have been making on this here poverty bench press. So as you guys are going to see through these clips, what I'm doing before every single press is I'm really, really grinding myself into these benches as much as I can to optimize that tightness, the shoulders retracted, scapula retracted, and just pressing as much. Another thing I've been doing with the bench press is after I pause the bench onto my chest and I explode up, I drive my elbows out and up, which is something I haven't been doing for the past five years of training because I thought keeping your elbows in was going to be the most optimal way to bench forever. But as my triceps have gained a little bit of strength, I realized that when you press by cranking your elbows out just slightly, you can utilize all the strength that your small little trisexuals have to offer for the bench press. So, this workout started with that 5x3 at 235 pounds, then we went to that incline press as you guys saw, and now incline press is absolutely, absolutely essential for me in my chesticle training because the increased range of motion, range of motion that you get from an incline press really, really helps off the chest movement for the regular bench press. So right here I'm doing another couple sets of incline with the dumbbells. I really, really like incorporating dumbbell training into my bench repertoire, mainly because not only do you get an increased range of motion, but for me, I get a much better mind-muscle connection when using dumbbells. I think it's because at the top part of the range of motion, you get to squeeze the chest all the way together. As you can see in these sets, the dumbbells touch, meaning I'm getting the maximal contraction for the chesticles. So yes, dumbbell training, drop sets, and really switching up the workout every single time you are in the gym is what will help you progressively overload and get through those little sticking points. That, coupled with gaining weight, being on a calorie surface, surplus on the bulk is really really going to help especially with chest training because as you know the fatter you get the better leverages you have for the bench press so right here we moved on to a couple drop sets with the cable flies and guys i absolutely love cable flies so funny story the first couple years of training i literally could barely feel any mind muscle connection when doing chest i would feel it all in my shoulders all in my triceps and absolutely not in the chest. And the thing that I've been doing to combat that is mainly just thinking of my shoulders being retracted a lot and really just squeezing the chest. And also, as you grow older, as you get more of a, more of a training age, your chest will grow bigger. And the bigger your chest is, the easier it is to get that squeeze. So yes, cable flies, chest press, dumbbell, barbell, incline, whatever you want, that is the best way to grow your chest. And since I had so much time here in this workout, I actually worked out for almost three hours in this particular workout, I decided to add some triceps at the end. I did not record them, but it was an in incredible little tricep workout after this so i'm gonna let the rest of this clip play out i hope y'all got a little bit of tips from this here commentary and i will see you guys in the next one okay bye <sighs> all right guys so we just finished up this insane almost three our chest day here in the Whistler Creek Athletic Club. It is almost 2.30 in the PMs right now. I've been fasting the whole day, mainly just because I was too lazy to get food. Starving now, so we're going to go pick up some groceries because Sean's fridge is completely just bare at home. And then we're going to go cook up our first meal of the day. 
So uh, there's the grocery store. There's a 52% chance I'm gonna die, but uh, let's go for it. Anything for these gains. All right guys, so as you just saw, we picked up these groceries. Oh God, I am so hungry. I cannot wait to get home and cook up this food. I just got a text that the boys went over to a suspension bridge, so I'm gonna be alone at the house for the next couple hours. Great, I love life. But, as you guys saw, the reason that we did not get any carbs and we just stuck to those protons and those micros is mainly just because I know later today I'm probably gonna be chowing down on some junk food, so why not save some of those carbohydrates for later? You know, eat healthy while you can. Yeah, it is a nice, nice day outside. And every single time I'm on vacation like this, I always have this problem where if I don't have a time limit, I'll just like work out for as long as I can. Like today we went for nearly three freaking hours and it was just one of the best workouts I've had in the past year. God, I love vacation. I love life. I'll see you guys at home. Okay guys, so uh, we went home a couple hours ago. Got a little bit of food. Right now we're on the, the side of a cliff. I don't know how we got here, but uh, yeah, long story short, I didn't get to eat my lunch. So I'm starving. But it's okay, because I have this cutie here to fuel me. He is my sustenance. Check this out. You know, technically, Alex, this is... Oh, she shit. I didn't get my food, so this has gone wrong. The question is, how do we make this video go What's sexual? Up, I got an idea. Okay, so we've come to the portion of the trip where I want to die. Not a big deal. Just my biggest fear, suspension bridges. I am a little bitch. This is great. Yeah, Alex, just hold my camera for a second. Do you mind uh, holding my phone too? Can you hold this? Uh, yeah, thanks. I gotta go over. Oh. It's for the vlog. No. All right, guys, so we made it to the train track area, but strangely enough, I haven't seen Alex or Derek for like days. No, no, Sean, what are you doing? What are you? Oh my God, thank God. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do that. I went from violent masturbation to hey, he gonna be famous. So it's hotter than a chandelier, but cold like a glacier. Boy, if you asking for a hand, I'll just hit file and save it. Cause I got so much damn Balenciaga, I look like Satan. Okay, like all my bitches got, they take them all the hot topic. I get that spooky pussy popping, hit that bitch in a coffin. I seen a lot of people talking, seen a lot of y'all plotting, and when I step out, they ask. All right, guys, heading home now. Sean took a took a fat tumble back there, and let's uh let's hope there's no more casualties. I guess it's day 872,000 in the jungle. We finally made it out of the forest alive. Alex is broken homeless right now. How was your experience? I just want some fucking cash, Sean. This flavor okay if anyone ever tells you that blue candy sharks is a good protein flavor don't trust them but we got to get our macros in so oh. all right lads we just wrapped up a super eventful day. Finished up with a nice, nice hot tub sesh. I didn't quite get in all the calories for the day, but that's all good, because life here in Wissy is going super, super swell. 
It's around 2 a.m. right now. I just finished watching up an old YouTube series. I'm exhausted, ready to hit this bed. Probably gonna edit all these videos tomorrow when I wake up, but on that note, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot, and as usual, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Hit it from the back okay. house. Super sad they got that country singing sensation. Oh, I went from laying in my basement to Jamaican vacation. Okay. I went from violent masturbation to hey, he gon' be famous. Okay. So it's hotter than a chandelier, but cold like a glacier. Boy, burn, if you burn. asking for a hand, I'll just hit file and save it. Cause yeah, I got so much damn Balenciaga, I look like Satan. Okay, like all my bitches got, they take them all the hot topic. I get that spooky pussy popping, hit that bitch in a coffin.